see first of all the topic is the statistics so in this first topic you should know that is measurement of measures of central tendency measures of central tendency measures of central tendency consist of the first thing that is called the mean mean or arithmetic mean arithmetic mean arithmetic mean or we say it a average average and it is shown by x bar now arithmetic mean can be categorized into two type of things one and next one is ungrouped that what we read in grade 9 ungrouped what's it ungrouped in ungrouped the observations will be like for observations observations like x1 x2 and so on till x n so the mean is given like summation of xi from i equals to 1 to n divided by number of terms this is the ungrouped data where the frequency is not given in that case this is the formula then we have the grouped data grouped data where the frequency is given for the grouped data we will have the things like for observations 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 x1 x2 x3 till xn with frequency it will be with frequencies with frequencies f1 f2 and so on till f now so the mean will be given in this case will be summation sigma i equals to 1 to n and that will be fi into xi over summation of fi summation of fi this is the mean or arithmetic mean this is the direct mean method yeah right? this is the direct mean method okay this is the direct mean method then i will tell you the assumed mean method and then one more Okay, till here it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Now, next we have assumed mean method. Assumed mean method. Assumed mean method. in case of assumed mean method the mean is given as x bar equals to a plus summation of i equals to 1 to n then it is fi di fi di over summation of fi whenever the frequency comes always you have to divide by the summation of frequency and in this case the di is going to be xi Minus a, and a is the assumed mean. Assumed mean. A is the assumed mean. A is the assumed mean. Now, next comes the median. The median. We are not doing step deviation. Step deviation is not required. U I D I that actually you want to say step that uh, like that question they don't give like U I D I thing. No, they will not give you that. Mm -hmm. Basically, those are used for na like for higher data and in the competitions like generally they, they don't give you the data higher. 
okay they just want to check the concept in school they give because they want to they give calculations also but in mm. case of the jwe they only give you the what is it like concept based questions now median in case of median you should know the middle most value middle most you can say or you can say the central value value the central value when data is arranged arranged in ascending order ascending Ascending order. Note it. Yeah. Okay. No. Next thing is now in case of the median also. Now in case of the median also we have two methods. In case of median also, one is for the ungrouped and for the grouped. Ungrouped. ungrouped so in case of ungrouped let's say n is odd n is odd so the median is going to be n plus 1 n plus 1 over 2th term term and if n is even n is even so you can say the median is going to be n over 2 plus n plus 2 over 2 half And for the grouped data, is it n plus two by two or n plus one by two? No, no. It is like uh, n over two plus one. It is na. So I took the LCM and I wrote it. Um. N plus two over two. In case of the grouped data, so the median m is going to be the lower limit l plus n over two minus. C F over F into H. So you must be knowing what these are. L stands L for the lower limit. Space. Lower limit of what of median class. Median class. Yeah, lower limit of median class. Then F is for frequency, frequency. of the med median class. Median class. Then we have the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency of the previous class. Yeah, like above preceding the... class. You can say, receive frequency, ah, uh, frequency, cumulative frequency. That's what you can say. CF. Cumulative frequency is cumulative frequency of preceding class. Preceding class. Just a minute. That. Till here we are done with. H is the class size. H is right? the class height. H is the class size. You can see this H is the class size. Okay. N by two is the total N, number. N of... is the N is the total number of terms, or you can say basically N is equals to summation of F I if F frequency is given. Okay. Okay, so yeah. this is the measurement of central tendencies. Central tendencies. Now, then, then we have the third thing of central tendencies: mode. Mode that is given by M, and it is most frequently occurring value. Mode is. Most frequently occurring, frequently occurring value, occurring value. Most frequently occurring value. So here also we have two things. One is grouped and ungrouped. 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 Next, we have the 
if we talk about the unglue, observation. So unglue because it's count, right? Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Observation having having maximum frequency. Maximum frequency. Observation having maximum frequency. Next. And grouped M is going to be L plus F1 minus F0 over twice of F1 minus F0 minus F2 times. I think you must have memorized this formula. No? This you must be known. Because it is like you memorize like 10, then it is like 1, 0, 2. Yeah. Everything like L is L is the value of uh, lower limit of the lower limit of the model class. Lower limit of model class. Done. H is the class size. H is the class size. F one is the Frequency of model class. F2 is frequency of frequency of class. Succeeding the model class. Yeah, succeeding. Succeeding model class. Model class. And F0 is, you can say, Preceding class. Succeeding this one, this is preceding. Preceding model class. In 12th, is there a statistics chapter? No, it is not there. Done, sir. Done? Yeah. Okay. Now you must be doing. Which one is the model class, sir? Maximum frequency? A class containing yeah. maximum frequency is called the model class. Okay. Yeah. A class containing maximum frequency is termed as the model class. Empirical relation. Empirical relation. Empirical relation is you must be knowing that is three median equals to two mean plus mean. Now a very important note is there. Till this we have learned in grade ten. 10th, this is about the 10th class. Now. So what happens? This measure of ten, central tendency, like mean, median, and mode. Measure of central tendency. Central tendency. Measure of central tendency gives only representative value. Gives only representative value. Okay. Value, value. So it's insufficient. So it's insufficient in many scenarios. In many scenarios. In scenarios. Now, so what happens to overcome this? To overcome this. Overcome this. We learn, we learn measures of dispersion that we learn in grade 11. Mm. Measures of dispersion. 
Laser is not this much. Done. Next. Next topic. Okay, can you move on? Yeah. Now, the next topic for the, that comes in grade 11 is measures of dispatch. Measures of dispatch. See, first of all, in this, we should know the range. Range is very simple, that is maximum value of distribution. Value of the distribution. Maximum value of the distribution minus minimum value of distribution. Minimum value of distribution. Second one. Second one is the mean deviation. Mean deviation. Mean deviation. Now see, mean deviation you have learned in the middle of this. You can make a table like this. Mean deviation. So make a table having a data. Then about mean. About mean. That is X bar, then about medium, about medium, that is capital M. So now the data is ungrouped. Data is ungrouped. If it is ungrouped, so what we do? Summation of I equals to one to N, and we take a model as xi is the data and we subtract mean from each value first of all we calculate the mean and then we subtract from all the values the mean mm -hmm. is getting subtracted from all the values then we then we take the positive of it that's why modulus is taken and mm -hmm. then we divide by the number of terms but now for a grouped data if you see grouped data in case of the group data, only the difference is that summation will be there. I equals to one to N, but only the frequency is multiplied because whenever we talk about the group data, it means it is arranged in the form of frequency. So frequency mm -hmm. comes. So frequency is multiplied with everything what we are doing in the previous thing and divided by the summation of frequency, capital N. Capital N always means the summation of frequency. That means summation of frequency. So basically, sigma fi. Yeah, sigma fi. Yes. Only the thing that changes frequency here. And here also n comes here, capital N. And capital N means summation of frequency. And in the ungrouped data case, only we have the number of terms. Number of terms. Now, now now about the median so again the same thing it will be summation ungrouped data i equals to one to n here also the xi is there but we subtract median from each data and divide by number of terms but now if it is a group data so that is going to be summation i equals to one to n this will be the frequency modulus xi minus m over total divided by n. So again, the same thing, it is n equals to summation of f from i equals to one to n. So it's the same thing, but there there's mean, here there's median. Yeah, only the same, exactly same thing. About the mean, we subtract the mean from each data. About the median, we subtract the median from each data. Okay. Got it. Can we do a question in this? We will do, we'll do all the questions. We'll do. We will do. We got it till here? Yeah. Now. Next, we have learned the variance. 
variance and standard deviation. Standard deviation. Standard deviation. The variance is given as sigma square and the standard deviation is given as sigma. So the standard deviation is always taken as positive square root of variance. So one should you know, mean of mean of the squares. The mean of the squares of the deviations of the deviations of the deviations from mean from mean is called variance. The mean of square of the deviations from mean, mean of square of the deviations from the mean is called variance. Now, how to calculate variance and standard deviation? Okay, note it. Yeah. The formula. Formula table data type. What type of data it is? Grouped or ungrouped data. Then we have the variance. Variance. And then we have the standard deviation. Standard deviation. Variance is data type. Ungrouped. Ungrouped. So variance is given as sigma square equals to one over n summation of i equals to one to number of terms n. And what we do xi minus mean whole square. So what we do xi minus mean whole square. And the summation will, means add them up all and then divide by number of terms. And if you have to find standard deviation, just take the square root of that, the term, the same thing again. That is one over n summation of summation of i equals. Just be a root of one of it. Yeah, that's simple. Xi minus x bar and the whole square. Ungrouped it. Now, next we have a grouped it. So for the group data, that is going to be n square, x, sorry, sigma square equals to one over capital N. Whenever a group data comes, so the frequency comes. And the frequency comes, so we have to take the summation of frequency. And the summation of frequency is shown by the capital N. And mm -hmm. that is summation i equals to one to n. And simply nothing is only the frequency is getting multiplied F with what xi minus x bar whole square. And the n is the same thing that is summation of frequency. I and if a standard deviation, if we have to see, so that is going to be under root of the same thing that is one over now capital N because the the frequency is there, so summation of all the frequency, uh, i equals to 1 to n, and that is the same thing, fi, xi minus x bar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One more thing. Or we can use another formula. Uh, for I'm writing it here. This is the group. This is the group to one. Group. So one more formula or the odd formula is 
for the ungrouped data, you can directly use the formula for sigma square equals to one over n, one over n, summation of xi, summation of xi whole square. After that, you do mean square, mean square. Sigma square is equal to one over n, summation of xi whole square minus mean square. Or this one, sigma square equals to one over n, one over n, summation of fi xi square, this square, xi square minus. Again, we can say the same thing mean square in short because this is fi xi over n. Here also it will be capital N. for the group data. Either way you can, you can know. the same thing. Anyway, the mean you have to calculate on. But standard deviation will stay the same. Yeah, on the root, whatever the you, you get the variance, just take the root of it. So we'll get the standard deviation from that. Mm -hmm. We no need to remember the root, form. The root of the variance. variance. Yeah, whatever the value, let's say variance you got four, to so take a root of that two, that is the standard deviation, nothing else. Now only two more formulas to do and then done. Note it? Yeah. Now we have a magic table. I will tell you about this in the question, but just make a note of it. Magic table. What is this magic table? The table is like this. First, we write the quantity. Quantity, this one. Quantity. Then, Change of origin, change of origin, and then change of skew. Change of skew. quantity like me, me. Change of origin, it will be either plus or minus a median. Median again, plus or minus a. Then we have the mode, plus or minus a. If origin changes, so the variance will be same. Variance will be same, and the standard deviation will be same. No change of origin in this case. And see, no. The thing is, like, A is the if old... The mean is changing, will the variance also change? No, 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 no. Because it's square. The variance will be square term. So that's what. A, A times old, or if it is negative, it will be old divided by A. It is A times old, or it is old divided by A. In this also a times old or times old thing divided by a. Here it is a squared times old data. And this is standard deviation modulus of a times old data. We'll use this in questions. I will explain it more. What is old? Old data, like the old value I'm talking about. If there is change of value sometimes, and that old value. I will let you know in the questions. So do I join the meeting again? I think it's yeah, going to end. Second.